All right, guys. Somebody gave me an idea about that that uh, control board I bought. They said, why don't you use that to fix the Genesis board? So that's what I'm gonna do. What I did was a couple changes. This is the Genesis battery. I changed the connection on it, okay? I'm gonna use one of these. Um, the charging port is on the board on the Genesis. It's on the control board. So I had it at a charging port. Right now we're testing it. Um, what I did was I have, just like the Evolve, I'll show you. I got these little plugs here, all right? And there's one positive in the center, and then there's two negatives. So what I did was come down here, inside this bubble here, I put a 15K resistor between the negatives just to help uh, when you plug it in, that pre, uh, keep it level between each other. So I ran even amounts, but I tapped into the same spot. So those two leads there should be enough to get rid of that zap. If not, I gotta add a capacitor, not a big deal. But I think I can get away with just adding the resistor between them and no capacitor. Um, the battery was already pretty charged. We're at 41.1. We're getting there. This light should be turning off soon. Start flickering. Just want to test it, make sure it's good. And then we're gonna to put together that other uh, we're gonna to put together that Genesis board. We're gonna use their battery, their wheels, and the eBay controller. And all we did was uh, switch a couple connections. But uh, when I put all that together, I'll let you guys know. The DIY board, I'm finished testing all the different epoxy materials. So now I'm going to make the video on how I shaped it, the finalization of all the epoxy, and a couple materials you're going to want to need when you lay down that carbon fiber. Uh, I'll, I'll show you guys a couple of really good tips and tricks before we do it so you're ready. But this is what I'm working on tonight get this battery all done and ready I'm gonna make a case for it I have shrink wrap for it actually this is the wrong one that's too wide that's for the uh, 10s pack uh, oh look I got this little rpm meter this is gonna come in handy I'm gonna test out some of these motors we'll get the true KV behind them and guys, we're going to go over, it, it's simple formulas. If you know the wattage on your motors, the max, you know, we're, I, I'll show you how you match up hardware. That video is to come. I've had, it, I've had a bunch of personal things going on in my life right now, making a lot of changes, getting organized. I'm actually putting all this electric skateboard stuff together. I'm getting real organized with it. I'm going to be getting into this industry, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, where in hell? We'll leave that to be a mystery right now. So for all you haters out there, now you can hate me even more. <laughs> That's how I feel. And they're coming out of the woodwork more and more. People love Evolve. Apparently people love uh, Cool Wheel and Genesis too. So I get a couple every now and then. But you know what? There's been a lot that come back after the fact and that said, oh, now I have a problem. The same exact people that were going, I've had mine for two months and it works just fine. Hold on, wait a minute. Um, and I pretty much figured out their board. Why uh, they stopped charging, why they stopped turning on. I think they need to use pre-charge resistors. I don't think the caps are actually, they're not, well, they're resistors they use, but they're caps. Like, this is what I have here, but now you can get these in like a little cap and, and they're using the cheapest ones. They're not working. They're not doing the specific job it's supposed to do. Pretty sure that's what's going on there. Um, I might just go ahead and fix that board, that control board just for shits and giggles but putting it to the side right now and and we're gonna use that ebay 
controller. That eBay controller is actually perfect for something like the Genesis because it's only 500 watt max. So uh, per wheel, a thousand total. I believe that's what it was. So the 350 max per wheel should work out pretty good. Anyway, that's it for right now. You guys see what I'm doing. I'll put together the video complete when I put this together after I'm done testing all this stuff. One thing I don't want to do is teach something that I don't know about and give you guys wrong information. So I'm doing a lot, a lot of testing. And it's the same thing with the DIY board, with the carbon fiber Kevlar board. I've been testing out the epoxy, different epoxy products. There's like three or four. I got some stuff I want to show you guys. But I didn't want to show you and be like, oh, yes, what I'm doing. I'm like, oh, yeah, never mind that. No, I, I want to straighten things out. So there's a couple different methods I haven't used before. There's a couple methods I have. I combined them and I come out with some real good results. So wait till you guys see my uh, little foam board. It totally reminds me of building a surfboard. All right. So I'll give it to you guys. Hmm.